I'm pretty sure you all know the game that I was going to pick. Um, I know Katie mentioned it in her video, and uh, for a moment I was kind of discouraged to do my video about Zelda, but um, I decided to do it about Zelda anyway because I do feel that it's my favorite game series of all time. Um, there's a number of reasons for that. I think when I first saw Zelda, I was really a big fan of Xenia Princess Warrior, and um, I think I kind of got the two mixed up and thought it was a Xenia Princess Warrior game. Or was new warrior princess, whatever the show is. So basically, I ended up like thinking it was that. And for the first time I played it, I thought that Link was a girl because he makes girly sounds. If you hear when he starts fighting in a second, you'll hear the girly sounds he makes when he when he's a child. Um, and in all the artwork as well, he had uh, earrings and looked kind of effeminate. So I thought he was a girl. Um, and I was like, oh, okay, so I'm like a girl princess thingy and I'm fighting. I thought I was Zelda. I was one of those people that thought that you were Zelda. If you listen now, the fairly girly sc screams that he makes when he fights. One of the really awesome things that I love about the Ocarina of Time is that there's so much stuff to do. Like, as well as the main quest, there's so many little side quests and things you can do to get extra items and increase your health and increase your magic and it, it, I think it was probably one of the first games where you could do things that weren't compulsory to the story and you didn't have to do them to complete it, you could run through the game in maybe like 10 hours or maybe like 13 hours but then there was so much other stuff which would probably be another 13 hours on top of that that you know you you would want to get get it all done and you would want to see every little nook of the game you want to explore. It's that whole kind of aspect of um, exploration that I really loved about it because I was going into these places which I'd never seen before and kind of, it's like, oh, what, what's here? What, what's going on here? Like, what do I do now? And how do I defeat this, defeat this new bad guy? Whereas now with Zelda games, I kind of know the status quo a bit more. Like, it's kind of like, oh, I know how to defeat that bad guy. Oh, I shoot him with a, an arrow or I, should, you know, do this or, you know. What I love about this game, as you can probably see with me fighting as well, is that with enemies there isn't just one way to kill an enemy, there's so many different ways. I know a lot of games do that now, but I, I really like that, the fact that you can throw a bomb chews at them, or stun them, or um, spin attack them, or there's just so many different items and so many different things to kill with, I suppose. Um, that's one of the really awesome things I love. I feel that lacks in games like Twilight Princess a little bit because some of the some of the weapons are cool. There's a ball and chain which is really amazing and just smashes enemies apart. But um, yeah, I feel that Ocarina of Time did it really well. One of the other aspects of the game was the whole kind of it's this game especially has such a following behind it because I suppose the Link in this game is supposedly the Link, like the hero of time was you know, like the main link and everyone else is kind of just a descendant of him. However, I think with the new Skyward Sword game that's going to change drastically because that precedes Ocarina of Time. If anyone was starting to play The Legend of Zelda or wanted to get into it, I would definitely recommend this game first. Um, just because it kind of sets the premise for the other games and then they can see how they all tie in because I feel if you played the other games you wouldn't really understand. Um, anything about them in some aspects, you know, you wouldn't understand why certain things are relevant. But anyway, th that's the end of my video for this week, guys. I'll see you all next week. Bye bye.